this is my first tutorial class i am going to tell you about opening bluej creating project as well as creating a program so after installing bluej click on bluej icon bluej gets opened so any class to be created must be inside the project so we have to create a project click on project new project so we get a dialog box where we can give the name of the project for example i am giving learner and then click on create so we get a blue project here so you can see that uh, learner heading here so to create a class click on new class or right click on the window anywhere and then click on new class you get a dialog box again make sure that class is selected by default class will be selected and then click ok so here you can see the icon this is the class program so to open it and edit the codes double click on it or right click and open editor you can see already written codes there which is the skeleton of a code according to the name given to the class as a beginner we are not going to take all these codes so we just delete all the codes and then we are going to start a program it is good practice to start a program with a comment line there are two types of comment lines given in java program one is with double slash and other one is starting with slash and star many lines and then again it is going to end with star and slash so if only one line is been given then just we start as with double slash after the double slash whatever is written is going to be a comment line which is not going to be executed or compiled when java is going to compile the program so we start a comment line saying this is my first program with a printing line always a program starts with class name class name is going to be a program name or any program name you wanted to give you must give that as a class name class we have already given the class name as my first program we can give the same name my first program or else if we give some other name m f p when it is going to compile it will take the new name and then old name is changed to the new name which is given inside the program and then we open a curly bracket class must have at least one method here we are going to learn a standard method called main method in the beginning of the learning just we can follow the codes as given and then later we will come to know what are the words what are the keywords which is used for which purpose so now we are having a method called main method with public static void main of string of arguments so here we have keywords called public static void main so here main is the name of the method and all these are keywords java is case sensitive so the keywords to be written very carefully with the same spelling whether it is uppercase or lowercase so here the public static void all these three are with only lower cases in the string only s is capital and then args that is arguments all are with small letters so any method we write we must have a block of codes which is opened with the curly bracket and then we are going to write the codes there actions there so we are going to just print one line so we are going to 
write a printing statement system dot out dot print line off then we terminate the action or a single statement which is to be terminated with the semicolon so this is going to create a new line so print line or print we can give print line means after the output it is going to create a new line <coughs> this is a empty statement where nothing is written to print so whatever to printer to be given inside the quotation we give here inside the quotation we give hello welcome to java and then we close the method here and then we close the class so this is going to be our first program let us compile this there is no syntax error so we close this window and then right click on this we run the method called void main so there is no argument just click on ok so we get hello welcome to java in the same program i would also like to tell you about print and print line the difference between print and print line so if we create one more line or print one more line here this was how I printed a line so when we don't give print line here in the first statement the output is going to be in the same line it is not going to be in a fresh line for the next statement this is the difference compile no syntax error and close this right click wide menu so you can see hello welcome to java this was how printed a line i hope you learnt the first program how it is created and executed thank you students keep watching my video